Father, I pray and I commit my life to your hand. And I commit people's life to your hand. Take control and bless everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we are coming to study something about confidence. You know, the devil is after our confidence all the time. So brothers and sisters, what I'm coming to encourage you today is, don't throw your confidence away. Be careful what you are doing all the time. Be careful because the devil is after you. The devil wants to take all your happiness and throw it away and give you sadness. Sadness, the one that can make you cry every day. Hallelujah. Because the Bible said clearly at John chapter 10, verse 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundant. Hallelujah. This is powerful. The Bible clearly say that the thief cometh not, which means the thief has seen something important in you. That is why he is coming to take it from you. Amen? So the thief is coming to take your happiness. Be careful whatever you are doing. Don't allow the thief steal your happiness. Because the Bible says, the thief cometh not, means he has seen something good in your life. Hallelujah. But if you continue, verse 11 says, I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ was telling you this. Because he is the good shepherd. He can make you happy all the time. He can comfort your heart. He can wipe your tears. No one can wipe your tears. No human being can help you in this world. Never. Only Jesus Christ can wipe your tears. So I'm trying to encourage you. Try as much as possible and put your confidence in Christ. Let's quickly go to Hebrews chapter, this is a study, so I just want to bring it down to encourage you. If you have pen, you can write them down and study this way. I think it will encourage you. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 35, I believe. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 35, say something. The Hebrews chapter 10, 35, yes. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Hallelujah which have great recompense of reward. Your confidence, your confidence, don't throw it away. Don't throw your confidence away. Hallelujah. When you read um, New Living Translation, the Bible, New Living Translation, let me read it from here, and then I think this can bring it out carefully to you. Verse 35. So do not throw away the confidence. Trust in the Lord. Remember the great reward it bringing you. Hallelujah. So this, this, this uh, New Living uh, Translation clearly say it plain that your confidence in God will bring you a good reward. Hallelujah. So the confidence that you have in Jesus Christ, it is, it is important for you to hold it tight. No matter what problems that you are going through, stay online. Believe in Jesus Christ. Because he is there to help you. Hallelujah. 
Don't put your trust in this world. Humble yourself all the time. Be in prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. Call him all the time, as the Bible says. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 says, Call unto me, and I will show you the great and mighty things. Hallelujah. Call unto Jesus Christ, and he will wipe your tears. He will put a smile into your face. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, whatever situation that you are in now, no human being can help you. Only Jesus Christ can help you. So I'm trying to encourage you to put your confidence. Don't throw it away, as Samson did. Samson threw his confidence away. And then later on, the enemies came back and arrested him and took his eyes off. So that he can never see his future. So if you throw your confidence away, the devil will come to you and steal your future. They will take all your eyes out. As the Bible says, Judges chapter 16, verse 16, coming down. If you read it, if you read there, you will, it's there. Hallelujah. So I'm, I'm trying to encourage you, please. Stay online and give your life proper to Jesus Christ. Don't put your trust in this world. The worldly things is good, but it's not good for you all the time. The worldly things can never help you. I'm not saying the worldly things is not good. It's good, but the worldly things can never take you to heaven. The worldly, food, the worldly things, hallelujah, will give you food to eat, clothes to wear. Somewhere to sleep. Hallelujah. You need it. But I'm talking about heaven. Because if you have everything in this world and you haven't got Jesus Christ, you are nothing. One day, you're going to leave everything in this earth. One day, you're going to leave everything you have in this earth. Hallelujah. Because you can't take it with you. Amen. So any situation that you are going through, remember that Jesus Christ is on your side. So far as you have faith in him, he will help you. He will never fail you. Hallelujah. He will never and ever fail you. But many people, what they do is, their confidence is in the world because they are full of what is in the world. But the Bible clearly tells us, John 15, 1 John 2, 15 says, Do not trust in the world or put your confidence in. Let's, let, let's read that, please. Let's go there and see. I don't want to use my mind to, read, to say anything, but uh, it's a study. I think let's quickly go there and see on King James. Hallelujah. I like King James a lot. Let's see something there. 1 John 2.15. Let's go there, my brothers and sisters. If you are there, let's read it. Let's read it. 1 John 2.15 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You get a point? Because if you love the world, there won't be any time for you to worship God because you need or you want everything that is in the world so there won't be any time for you to serve God but put put God first in your life and he will make sure that he will bless you abundant hallelujah if you continue verse 16 says for all that is in the world the last of the fresh and the last of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world hallelujah for all that is in the world 
it's last you just see it feeling one day we're gonna leave everything here and go and meet our Lord Jesus Christ that is why I like this quotation a lot Jeremiah chapter 15 hallelujah Jeremiah chapter chapter 8 verse 15 I'm sorry Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 15 Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 15 please let's go there and see something Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 15 I like it a lot we look for peace but no good came for and for a time of health and behold trouble we are looking for peace in our life but who can give us peace only Jesus Christ can give us peace but you are looking for peace and you haven't got Jesus Christ how can you get peace my brother or sister you are looking for peace in your life you are looking for peace in your hope you are looking for peace in your marriage you are looking for peace in your finances you are looking for peace in your family you are looking for peace in your west side hallelujah but you haven't got Jesus Christ how can you get peace Think about it. His name is Prince of Peace. So if you have him, he can give you peace. He can comfort your heart. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, we look for peace, but no good came. But no good came. The good things can never come to our life. Because what? Because of what? Because we haven't got the instruments. Who is the instrument? Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He is your father. He is your mother. He is your everything. Take him. Put your confidence in him. And believe in him. That he only can help you. No one can help you except Jesus Christ, the Messiah. That is why he came from heaven to die for you and show you the way. He shared his blood to protect you. My brothers, I know you are going through so many trials. I know you are going through so many problems. I know you are not happy in your life. I know so many things are going wrong in your life. My brother or sister, try Jesus Christ today and see. Don't worry about your problems. As the Bible says, let's quickly read um, uh, Philippians. Philippians chapter 4. Let's see something there. Let's see something there. Write it down. Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. I like this quotation a lot. I like everything in the Bible. I like everything in this world, in this Bible, in the name of Jesus. Because all these things help us to grow in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You see, verse 6. Philippians chapter 4, 4, if you like, write it down. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Which means don't allow the conf uh, your confidence to uh, run away from you or throw it away. Rejoice with your confidence. Any bad situation that you are going through, any pains that you are going through, still rejoice. Because the greater one is on your side. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for hearing these prayers in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. God bless you.